Well, it's Grim Droid signing in. Welcome back to Cards Against Humanity. I am accompanied today by Vash and Zavi. I don't know what the fuck to call him. Dan the Yeti. Let's start the game. Okay, fine. And the cards up. Okay. You guys, I saw this crazy movie last night. It opens on blank, and then there's some stuff about blank, and then it ends with blank. Jesus, a pick three? Yeah, it's a pick three. This is the first three we've had. Oh, perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay. Dan, do you know how to play? I think I have an idea. No, I mean, like, uh, how to play your cards and everything like that. Also, there's uh, blank cards, and if you get those, you all you have to do is you choose it. After you hit confirm selection, then the uh, text box will pop up that you type. Luckily, his screen is so far away from mine, I can't read a single line of text on his screen. Good. I want cheating. You salute. You guys, I saw this crazy movie last night. It opens oh, on. Frozen. What? Because I, I saw it's, my screen still hasn't switched over. Oh, uh, we refresh the page. Rip. Okay, there we go. You guys, I saw this crazy movie last night. It opens on hot warming orphans. And then there's some stuff about a possible Muslim. And then it ends with sucking the president's dick. Well then. You guys, I saw this crazy movie last night. It opens on wait until marriage. And then there's some stuff about filling every orifice with butterscotch pudding. And then it ends with Kim Jong-il. Kind of like this one better. Oh my god, I can't see which one you picked. Oh, yeah, yeah I got the point. Yay. And you're okay, also In the distant future, historians will agree that blank marked the beginning of America's decline. Oh, really? <laughs> In the distant future, historians will agree that Cartoon Camel enjoying the smooth, refreshing taste of a cigarette marked the beginning of America's decline. And in the future, historians will agree that Donald Trump marked the beginning of America's decline. Oh, I'm gonna have to give it to the topical answer. Yay, political. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Oh, all right. Adventure, romance, blank. From Paramount Pictures, blank. Give me your fucking monotone voice. <laughs> okay. Dan, you have to read them. Adventure, romance, hot pockets. From Paramount Pictures. Solving into a hungry man frozen dinner. Adventure, romance, a sex goblin with a carnival penis. From Paramount Pictures, bananas and pajamas. <laughs> yeah, mine was a throwaway. It doesn't have hot pockets, though. Don't forget, beginning this week, Casual Friday will officially become Blank Friday. Ooh. I have one that fits and one that's awful. 
my game just wants to make me constant reflush. Reflush? It's kind of making me constantly refresh. There you go. Mine did that last time. Okay. Don't forget, beginning this week, Casual Friday will officially become Tentacle Porn Friday. Don't forget, beginning this week, Casual Friday will officially become Shutting the Fuck Up Friday. That needs to happen a lot more. Yes, I love this comedy. Because <laughs> then, Tentacle Porn is every day. Oh. Uh. What would Grandma find disturbing, yet oddly charming? Back to Josh. <laughs> I remember our last game. Uh, one or two? Someone pick a number, one or two. Three. Okay. <laughs> what, Dan? One. What would your grandma find disturbing yet all charming? A stray pube. What would grandma find disturbing yet all charming? Gay aliens. So Mexicans. <laughs> yeah. Curtis, don't be hating on your own people. I'm mean, just because they're all more gay than me. Not possible. Up next on Nickelodeon, Clarissa explains blank. Oh. Up next on Nickelodeon, Clarissa explains pulling out. <laughs> Up next on Nickelodeon, Clarissa explains Glenn Beck catching his scrotum on a curtain hook. Jesus, what is that background noise? Oh, it sounds like it's coming from you. That sounds... I, I hear that whenever Dan talks. Yeah! Thank you. <laughs> Don't you threaten me with a good time. Listen, son. If you want to get involved with blank, I won't stop you. Just stay clear of blank. Listen, son. If you want to get involved with driving into a tornado to learn about tornadoes, I won't stop you. Just stay clear of enormous Scandinavian woman. Okay? Listen, son. If you want to get involved with a, hom a homoerotic subplot, I won't stop you. Just stay clear of good grammar. I don't like either one. Oh, fuck you. Um, I guess I'm just going to choose this one. Yay. Poor Ben. <laughs> he reminds me of Nyx in the first game we played. Oh, yeah, that was bad. This is the prime of my life. I'm young, hot, and full of blank. Oh, I have the perfect card for this. Uh, I like my card. Yeah. This is the prime of my life. I'm young, hot, and full of not giving a shit about the third world. This is the prime of my life. I'm young, hot, and full of Justin Bieber. <laughs> ah, Dan finally gets a point. They're all just haters. Yeah, I am. An international tribunal has found blank guilty of blank. Hmm. Uh. Yeah. <coughs> An international tribunal has found Jafar. Guilty of ethnic cleansing. An international tribunal has found Mohammed, praise be unto him, guilty of ambiguous sarcasm. 
These are both fantastic. Yeah, they are. Yeah. Yeah, the, I was gonna say, I wanna say, holy shit, that's so good, but then they wouldn't know the author wasn't mine. <laughs> Our relationship is strictly professional. Let's not complicate things with blank. Our relationship is strictly professional. Let's not complicate things with flesh eating bacteria. Let's not complicate things with Dorito breath. I don't know. Dorito breath sounds kind of good. Smelling Doritos all day. Oh, yes. Got your fat. <laughs> Screw you. What's the next superhero? God, they gave me a card with a few words. I'm not very bad at reading. <coughs> What's the next superhero? A woman scorned. What's the next superhero? My relationship status. So single man. I was gonna say non-existence man. Yay. That's terrible answers. Thank you. Well, if blank is good enough for blank, it's good enough for me. <laughs> well, if passive aggressive post it notes is good enough for Asians who aren't good at math, it's good enough for me. Well, if lactation is good enough for two whales fucking the shit out of each other, it's good enough for me. No yes. emotion. No. Yeah, that two whales car I've been saving. It's a good one. Money can't buy me love, but it can buy me blank. I think of this part too. Money can't buy me love, but it can buy me surf serfdom. Sorry. Money can't buy me love, but it can buy me a botched circumcision. Circumcision. Yeah. I don't know what the hell serfdom is. I don't either. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Learn your history, mate. Yeah, with his high IQ and all that shit. We're not like other news organizations. Here at Slugline, we welcome Blank in the office. We're not like other news organizations. Here at Slugline, we welcome auto cannibalism in the office. We're not like other news organizations. Here at Slugline, we welcome Vikings in the office. This better be you. Okay, thank God. Of course, he'd choose Vikings. Dan's just trying to make it easier for him to get a job. Uh huh. Tonight, we will have sex. And afterwards, if you'd like, a bit of blank. <laughs> Tonight, we will have sex. And afterwards, if you'd like, a bit of turning the rivers red with the blood of infidels. Wait, that's a spood. <laughs> it does. Tonight, we will have sex. And afterwards, if you'd like, a bit of never having sex again. Well, that's a little straightforward. Specifically, who wrote these cards? Fuck you, Dan. Wahoo <laughs> Akbar. Yay! He doesn't love turn the red with the bold. <laughs> In the seventh circle of hell, sinners must endure blank for all of eternity. In the seventh circle of hell, sinners must endure a fart for all of eternity. Sinners must endure. Ind sinners must endure cool 90s up in the front hair. These are both awful. Oh, fuck. <laughs> well, I'm a kid at heart. 
Not wonder. Does that mean you have to suffer the smell of the fart, or constantly having the fart but never being able to? What's the new fad? The diet. Oh god. <laughs> What's the new fad diet? Being paralyzed from the neck down. What's the new fad diet? Poopy diapers. And I'm sorry, I'm only one of those is edible. Yay. Fuck you guys. Get so we'll go with the damn joke. As part of his contract, Prince won't perform without blank in his dressing room. <laughs> As part of his contract, Prince won't perform without an older man in his dressing room. As part of his contract, Prince won't perform without Neil Patrick Harris in his dressing room. Yeah. For God. I do think it was that one. Ah, damn it, I'm the cards are. It's funny because both of them are dead. Wait, Neil Patrick, Neil Patrick Harris, Harris is dead? dead. After Hurricane Katrina, Sean Penn, Sean Penn brought blank to all the people of New Orleans. Oh, I thought they were looking them up though. After Hurricane After Katrina. Hurricane John Penn brought a constant need for validation to all the people of New Orleans. Oh my god. After Hurricane Katrina, Sean Penn brought survivor's guilt to all the people of New Orleans. <laughs> they should feel guilty. They all should have died. <laughs> oh, I love that card. I've had that card like, since the beginning, but I've never had a good chance to use it. Damn it. After months of debate, the Occupy Wall Street General Assembly could only agree on more blank. Oh, oh. After months of debate, the Occupy Wall Street General could only agree on more figuring out how to have sex with the dolphin. It's easy to blow. <laughs> After months of debate, the Occupy Wall Street General <laughs> so they could only agree on more throwing stones at a man <laughs> who dies. God damn it. Yes. Yes. It all fucking sucks. Well, this is the last round. Yeah. This is the last round. Since he's the card star, so we're going to get point wins. wins. Oh. Lose my virginity. Oh. How did I lose my virginity? Warm, velvety Muppet sex. How did I lose my virginity? Child beauty pageants. <laughs> yeah. Hurt ah. me. You guys up for another round? Yeah. I'm always. I have no life, so of course I do. <laughs> 